Over the last few months, really going back to the end of the summer of 2020, when Astrobotic was awarded the contract to take the Viper payload uh, to the surface of the moon using our Griffin lander, uh, we've been involved in a number of activities here in Pittsburgh, as well as with our partners at NASA all around the country. So the bulk of those activities over the last few months has really been focused on requirements development. On a complex program such as this, it's very important that the expectations and requirements requirements are set early, as well as the plans to show you've met those requirements, what we call a verification. So that's been our focus for the last few months, setting those requirements, defining new requirements, and then identifying what the verification plans are going to be. But now as we get into 2021, there's a lot more exciting hardware related activities that are going to begin to kick off. Uh, for example, um, over the next month, we'll be um, assembling and delivering what we call the analog, which is a, effectively a, a ground only prototype for use um, in more prototyping with the, the rover um, of Griffin, uh, which will allow us to take a mock-up or an engineering model of the Viper rover, uh, the Griffin analog itself and its ramp system, combine them um, down at Johnson Space Center and actually work through some of the egress cases using the dual ramp system, which you can actually see a little bit of it here on an earlier prototype that we had uh, uh, right behind me. Um, as we get towards the end of the year, we're going to be building a structural qualification model of our vehicle. That's actually what the model behind me was an earlier version of. We're taking that to the next step, incorporating those requirements that I was talking about that are um, very specific to Viper. So that structural qualification model will be assembled towards the end of this year, and then it will actually go through structural qualification test as we, we cross over between 2021 and 2022. Of course, um, one of the very important elements of taking a lunar lander and getting it from Pittsburgh to the surface of the moon is you need to get off the earth. The lander can't do that on its own. So for that, we're going to need a launch vehicle. Over the next coming months, we intend to announce the selection of our launch vehicle provider. So all I can say is stay tuned.